This past Saturday, I had a birthday and there was a no cake. Plus, I have a fun story from my past about my birthday. So I hope you'll stay tuned to today's podcast. Welcome back to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I hope you are enjoying the last couple days of summer and looking forward to fall being right around the corner. And I wanted to share a fun birthday story with you before we dive into today's podcast. So when I was with the ballet company in Annapolis, Maryland, I waited tables and at this, I was at this restaurant named McGarvey's. I think it's called something else now, but it used to be tucked in the corner of Ego Alley and it has a big tree in the center of one of its dining rooms. And when I was working there, I met another waiter and he and I were talking one day. And when we were talking, we were, something came up about birthdays. And this is kind of how the conversation went. I was born in 73. Yeah, me too. What month? August. Me too. What day? 26. I'm the 29th. Were you born in Annapolis? No, I was born in New Jersey. No way. Me too. What town were you born in? Now, before I go on, for internet security reasons, I am not going to say what town we were born in, <laughs> but let's just say the town is so incredibly small and there's like one traffic light in this entire town. So he asked, what town were you born in? And we said the exact same thing. And I was like, what? It's like, that's the town I was born in. So shortly after this whole conversation, I had gone up to my parents' house and I was telling this story to my parents. My mom gets up and walks to another part of the house. A couple minutes later, she comes back with a picture of a woman holding a baby. And she tells me that back in the day, after the moms had their babies, they were all brought into the same hospital room. And when I was born, there were a total of four moms in the room. And my waiter friend was the only boy out of the four moms. What? <laughs> so I took the picture back down to my friend in Annapolis. And when I returned and showed it to him, he was like, yeah, this is my mom. How crazy is that? I absolutely love telling this story because, you know, Annapolis is a good distance away from where I grew up. And to find somebody that was like, born pretty much on the same day, the same year in the same hospital room. And my mom had a picture of his mom. It was just crazy. <laughs> so I wanted to share that story with you. I have shared it with many people and I just love telling the story, but I hadn't talked to this person for years. And one of the beautiful things I think about social media is being able to reconnect with people that you probably wouldn't have found. So I actually really just recently connected to him um, on Facebook. And it was funny because he was like, I tell the story all the time. And I was like, I do too. I think it's a great story. So, so that's my little story from my past. So let's get on to today's topic and on to birthday cake. So my 47th birthday was this past Saturday. And every year I look forward to having cake on my birthday. And in particular, there's this one bakery that I absolutely love that has the most delicious cake ever. And this year was no different. I was looking forward to my birthday cake. <laughs> Recently, I have been spending a lot of time thinking about food and how attached we are to food. We use food as a way to celebrate huge occasions like weddings and baby showers but we also use it for celebrating Tuesdays or meeting up for coffee. We use food to make us feel better. Had a hard day? Let's eat a bag of chips before making dinner. So I told my husband this year, I said, don't worry about my cake. I said, I'm gonna make my own cake. And part of this is because I am gluten-free and dairy-free. On a side note on that, I am not gluten-free and dairy-free because of some fat diet. I am lactose intolerant, recently developed in my 40s. Not too happy about that, but <laughs> so be it. And every time I eat gluten, I really don't feel good. I know I've been tested. I do not have celiacs, um, but it just doesn't feel good. So I can eat gluten, 
I don't always feel good after eating it. So I was going to make my own gluten-free, dairy-free cake. So Saturday arrives and I start to get ready to make my birthday cake. And I thought I had gluten-free cake mix. I did not. <laughs> so in the past, I would have been really upset because like who doesn't have birthday cake on their birthday, right? But this year was different. I was like, oh, well, no cake, not a big deal. Seriously, like there was no drama. There was no, you know, kind of finagling, how would I get cake type thing. There were no candles to blow out. There was no happy birthday song that was sung. sung and I really, I didn't care. I had a great day with my family and I got to do what I wanted to do, which was work out and read my book. Even if that meant reading it in a car as it was pouring down rain, waiting for my daughter's soccer tournament game to start. <laughs> it truly was one of my favorite birthdays. And cake had nothing to do with my experience of the day. Yes, it's nice to celebrate with foods, but if you look back in the past, people celebrated with food on rare occasions. Think back to when you were little. I know for us, I don't, I can't remember. We did go out to eat for dinner, but it was like few and far between. And there were no daily celebrations that involved overindulgence of food. Are you celebrating with food on the regular? Take a look and see where this is showing up in your life. When does food stop being your reward for making it through the day? And when does food just become what you eat to make you healthy? If you've been looking to make changes and live a healthier life in a healthier body, I want to invite you to book a call with me at shapeitupfitness.com slash chat. We will find out what's stopping you from losing the weight and what you can do to lose the weight for the last time. You can schedule a call at shapeitupfitness.com slash chat. That's all for me today. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon.